Hello everybody. I know it's been a long time since we've been back with the Outer Worlds, but can't forget about it. It's such an amazing game. Decided to continue it today. I just felt like playing it. The last time we were on Roseway, doing some missions for the Groundbreakers to try and get the Monarch Stellar Bay Key so we can land on Monarch. And the last time we actually... I think we finished Roseway, maybe? I can't remember. We were pretty close. Now check right now. I was just making sure the category was set. Alright. I do have perks. I just wanted to see my journal. So, 8,000 bits. Return to Gladys on the Groundbreaker. Yeah, we were done the distress signal. All right, that's what I wanted to look at. We got a couple things to do on our ship, though. We got to check the terminal on our ship. So we got to head back to the ship. I'm not gonna fast travel just because I want to learn the controls again. It hasn't been that long. Let's be real. Hello, thanks for coming back. <laughs> Transition to the unreliable. I wonder if they're ever going to make a <clears throat> patch for the uh, load times. Please, would you kindly inform the crew that long chats with Ada are not required every time the captain leaves the ship? <laughs> she don't like talking to my crew. We got to check our terminal and our captain's quarters. I'm, do I have a legendary weapon I can put in here and just get rid of it? They do. We don't want to get rid of our science weapons. That's what they're called, science weapons. Search mining data. So we're looking for another science weapon. Okay. At the Hepatus mine. Now what? After reviewing the data, a powerful weapon was used to kill one of the miners. Search the outpost <clears throat> for the weapon. So it's on Scylla, okay.
There was one more thing. Oh yeah, install the acid thing. This is gonna be a trophy. Bam! Skilled. Sweet. 100 intimidation. That's what I like to see. What else do we want now? Dialogue skill when you're alone, fuck that. Hmm. TD restored per kill. That one's not too bad just because I use that slow motion shit a lot. Ellie and Felix are leveled up, but we don't use those guys. <clears throat> this is the last companion. Initiating initialization sequences. Greetings, customer! This SAM unit is unable to locate your registered information. Would you like to register your SAM? Yes. Registering new owner. Captain. Welcome to the crew, Sam. Sam units live to clean and clean to live. <laughs> That's great. That's just great. Glad this game gives me a fucking cleaning bot for my sixth crew member. It's actually awesome, though. I don't think there's anything left to do on this ship. We can go to Scylla before we head out. Yeah, let's go to Scylla. Before we go to Groundbreakers. I was so disappointed when I found out you don't even get to go to half those planets on that fucking galaxy map. <clears throat> oh, we're still missing one. Okay. Okay. Maybe we should get Sam instead of fucking Vicar. <laughs> I like Vicar though. Like. Yeah, I'd it's up at night, but it's real. Can't walk five meters without stubbing your toe in a loose rock here. <laughs> <laughs> totally different takes on this place. So where is our, okay, 227 meters that way. <clears throat> oh, 
we got trouble, we got trouble. Bam. Get out of your hideys, hide. There you go. <laughs> May the law have mercy Fucking just on you. feed him when he's down. Feed him when they're down. That's the last of them. <clears throat> Style 7. Yeah, no thanks. Wonder what the leader had on her. Bunch of nothing. The art in this game is so colorful. What a cozy little mining outpost. Deserted, but quaint. Deserted. There's a fucking combat drone right there. Another level already. Holy shit! All right, we're in some serious shit. Some serious shit now. Vicar can handle himself though. That's why I like him. And then he dies. found a flaw in you. Robophobia. Auto mechanicals now give you the willies and when they're attacking your party you're not as effective as you should be. Hmm. It's worth a perk point. I'm taking it. Robophobia. Plus 50. Alright we're taking that just because I like experience. There we go. I think we'll level up like all the hacking and stuff like that next. <clears throat> Lock picking and hacking. That'd be your science <laughs> skill. Hmm, there it is. That's another science weapon. Nice. That's why we came here. That's what I like to see. Question is, what the fuck else is over here? Should we explore a bit? Abandoned mining outpost discovered. Can't get in. Let's explore while we work our way back to the ship. Because we're done here. Yeah, next one's got to be on Monarch. Says we got to search the Groundbreaker for clues. Return to the Groundbreaker, yep. That is on Monarch. Can't do that. Yeah, and we need the Monarch Cellar Bay key for that one. So we're good to go back to the Groundbreakers.
Booyah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Might be in trouble getting there. Here's a little trick I learned in prison. In prison, eh? You don't say. We are in some serious shit. We got some good teamwork going. That's for sure. That's why we survived. Good job, guys. Ran into two primals. Better be something worth over here. Combat drone. Hmm. A mag pick is not worth it. That's for sure. <clears throat> what are you laughing at? What's wrong with you? Oh, they're jumping. there's anything in here. Let's take a quick peeksies. Uh, we, there could be nothing in there. I don't want to get stuck. Ah, my legs! More mechanicals. What we got here? Need 75 lock picking for that. Holy shit. Heavy machine gun. Empty. I think we've already looted it. I think we've been here already. I didn't really go check under that though. We'll leave that for another time because I know we come back here. <clears throat> and stuff can be high level here. So that's why you want to come back later. Heavy machine gun. It's pretty good. I'll sell you. Oh no! Come back down! There you go. What is that over there? We didn't really look behind our ship, did we? Hmm. <laughs> Time freighter discovered? What did that say? Vending machine? There's enemies somewhere. Must be up there. Fuck, I get sidetracked it easy. In games that promote exploring, it's hard not to. 
and get your bludgeoning objects ready. Workbench. Got my shrink ray and my scythe. Oh, here we go. Oh, eat it, buddy, eat it. This guy's got a machine gun burst on him. Holy cow, these guys are strong. He's a squad leader. The strong survive and the weak perish. Oh, sorry, Vicar. Nice. Our survival. Some more shit over there, but uh, let me loot these guys up. Didn't come here for no reason. Tactical shoddy. Can't pick up that big boy's gun. Can't forget the plasma dust piles. <laughs> it reminds me of Mass Effect. What the fuck is this thing? Alright. Just wreck them all, wreck them all. Oh, get them. Don't mess with us. Got them. Poor little things. Seen more shit to loot. Where was that? Over here. I just murdered those poor little guys. Ringmaster's log. I wonder what's up the ladder. Nice. Bunch of shit I needed. Another attack shotgun just sitting on the ground in bed for some reason. I don't want to sleep here. This place is a fucking dump. And fucking sprats all over the place. Let's get to the ship and get out of here. If we can. Might have to go all the way around again. That's some good experience there. Ooh, there's another ladder up here. I didn't go up. It looks like there's fucking nothing up here, though. The fuck is the f point of that? Some ammo. And some wine. Some fine wine. Faded broadsheet. I don't want to read all that. It's probably nonsense about this crashed ship we're on.
Goodbye for now, Scylla. I'll see you again soon. If I can get up here, it's goodbye. Oh no. Oh no. Travel to the Groundbreakers, get that Monarch fucking key, so we can actually fly to the big planet. The big planet, it's like fucking Hive though, there's so many bugs. Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. What does you have to say? Hey, Captain. I got a thing I want to ask you. It's kind of big. Great. Here we go again. I suppose I've got a minute. Make it quick. I've been thinking about our night on the Groundbreaker. I had, I had all these feelings, and it was so hard to get them all out at the time. But now I got my thoughts in order, and I think I'm ready to stop fretting and fussing and and ask Junle to go steady, straight up. And I'm thinking of doing it here, on the ship. Oh, Arya, bringing her home to meet the family, huh? Bold move. Oh gosh, do you think so? I just figured, you know, there's nowhere she can go on Groundbreaker where folks don't know her. Here she can relax. Um. Okay, why are we having this conversation? On account of how I'll need your help with it. The thing is, I can't ask her over like, but this. I mean, look at me. I'm all covered in engine grease, and I ain't showered in nigh on a week. I smell like sweat most days, and well, don't look too close at my fingernails. I was thinking, hoping. We could stop by Groundbreaker for gas supplies. That's where fuck where we're fucking heading, so <laughs> Fine, whatever, I suppose I'll have to pay for this junk too. I got savings. Not a powerful lot, but some. How expensive can so be? Anyhow, next time we dock in Groundbreaker, let me know. I don't know. Because I wanna come with it. How expensive can it be? Oh wait, we got another science weapon. Up to the captain's quarters. No! Ah, damn it. Get back in there, there we go. I want to head to the workbench real quick as well. Break down these shoddies. Repair. To the groundbreakers. The groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Who should we bring with us this time? Oh, let's bring Sam. Let's bring Sam for shits. Oh, fuck, I should. I had to bring Parvati, too. We need bath supplies. Maybe we don't need her to buy that shit. Who knows? Who knows? She did say uh, she was going to use her money. Let's 
Sam, welcome aboard. Your first visit here. So it's 8,000 big bucks to buy this thing for the other guy. It's almost time for today's episode of the Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? <laughs> no. Oh, I investigated that distress signal. What's that? Speak up now. About those secrets you asked me to look for. What'd you turn on? I found a toothpaste formula, but then I unfound well, that's it. Just just swell, well, sweetheart. Good for you. You're so nice. I acquired some research on Rapidon Musk, but I found another buyer. A shame you didn't visit old Gladys first. That would have fetched a good price. I may have thrown in a batch of my famous sugar cookies just to sweeten the deal. Yeah, if well... If Leo's exporting wraps from Monarch, golly me, someone's going to be in the soup when they get caught. Oh, anti Cleo is, and I killed everybody. I found schematics for a prototype weapon from Force, and I'm selling. You buying? Peaches and cream. If that isn't the most handsome bit of lethal engineering I've seen all week, that would go for a tiny sum of bits. Thank you. <laughs> oh, how can I be sure you won't go ratting me out to the wrong people? My oh my, look at the cysts on you. Here. Consider it hazard pay. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I think that's it. Are you positive? Honest to goodness? I'm certain. Can't say I wasn't hoping for more, but I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. About that other offer. Yes, dear. I need that fucking Which shit. Offer were you interested in? It's eight thousand big ones. I'll buy Unum's official board seal. There yeah. we go. Ain't that peachy? You enjoy that stamp, you understand? And don't you dare use it responsibly. Anything else? Um My engineer's looking to do some deep cleansing. I think I got just the thing, my dear. A few years back, Auntie Cleo's put out a whole makeover kit, and I snagged a couple for myself. High-grade shampoo and conditioner, scrubby brush, a nice lotion, that sort of thing. I still got them, too. Most folk don't got the time, or bathtubs for such, me included. I'll let you have one on clearance. You want roses? Mock apple and cinnamon, or refurbished ship. <laughs> oh, refurbished ship. I'll just wrap that up for you, since it's for a special occasion. Hold on to that. I'll fetch my engineer to pay for it. Shit, so we do fucking need her. Are you fucking serious? I still can't afford 10,000 bits. I might have to kill her and steal it, you know, because I'm, I'm evil. I might have to kill that nice old lady. Or steal it from her. One or the other. Thing is, if I get evil with this place, that means I get evil with that engineering girl as well. And that means... Pavardi won't get her girlfriend. Oh well. Do you have it? You know, my government seal. I got your seal from Gladys. Oh my law. You've, You've done, done it. it. You've, You've saved, saved my hide. hide. I can't thank you enough. Now then, uh, let me see. I just have to apply the seal here. Sign like so, and... Ta-da! <laughs> here are the forms you'll need once you reach Byzantium. Oh, and a nav key, so you should can travel there. 
Those authorization forms will let you speak with Sophia when you arrive. I'll send her a message straight away to let her know you're coming. She'll be delighted, I'm sure. So I've gained entrance into Byzantium before Monarch? Are you kidding me? Captain, are you telling me you haven't heard of the adjutant to the chairman of the board? Ms. Akande may just be the most powerful woman in the colony. Yes, quite. Ms. Akande is just the person to take someone with your particular talents and sterling character under her wing. She can fill you in on all of the board's operations in the colony and really put your talents to use. That's actually kind of crazy. Best of luck to you and thank you again. Give my regards to the unreliable. I can just totally skip Monarch if I want. That's pretty fucked up because you can get to the end of the game from Byzantium, right? That's pretty messed up. Alright, I said I was going to level up my lockpicking and hacking and shit next. Tech is included in that as well. Uh, killing an enemy reduces the remaining... That's a good one. So we gotta go to Monarch for that. Yeah, she wants to come out here and buy some shit from Gladys. Maybe I can just kill her and steal it. I might have to just do that anyway for the fucking... The Stellar Bay Key, man. This is the evil playthrough, like... That's what I should be doing. I'm gonna go get her. Get her soap first, just in case. Actually, no, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it, guys. Here we go. Give me your fucking nav key, bitch. Is it in here? Can't get in. Give me your nav key. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, I'm not. Hmm. You know what? It's not gonna be good. It's gonna be a blood feud in here. Here we go. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Groundbreaker reputation decreased. <laughs> oh. Alright, let's see if we can get that fucking shit off of her now. She's got nothing. She doesn't have the key. We're fucked. Unless we need to get in there. Then we might not be fucked. It might be in there. I, what did that do to my quest? You killed Gladys and can no longer purchase the nav key from her. Talk to Ader on your ship to see what you should do now. <laughs> oh, that's not good. You killed Gladys, which makes it difficult to buy anything from her. You have to search her room and the rest and go and hope she keeps the soaps nearby. I think I can do that. There they are. Got them. <laughs> and what did this do? This one updated as well. Will they hang Find an alternate with Gladys Dead. You are no longer able to purchase an ad key. You'll need to find a different way to gain access to the city before you can work for Sublight. Oh, man. 
Fuck sublight as well. Did he really stand in our way though, Max? Did he? What is that doing to my reputation? <laughs> oh, they're still agreeable somehow. That's hilarious. That feels so bad. <laughs> Not really though. What are you looking at? That's right. By rights, we should just murder everybody here. Against all odds. All right, Ada, what do we do? Uh, oh, I am alert and awake. Not to. Yeah, so this is my hiding spot now. Here's your fucking soap. I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here I am. Cozy like, ain't it? I got the soap you wanted. Oh, let me see. Oh, gosh. You got me more than one. Which scent do you think I ought to use? Oh, man, I must have grabbed them all. I, I wanted her to use this one. Sure enough. That's a smell that says we're going places. In her messages, June Lay said her mama used to make this dish for Monarch. Dustback casserole. You kidding me? Saltuna and Xenogold needle mushrooms. And then for dessert, there's a thing called, uh, sweetheart cake. It's made with almond paste and wax golds. There's gotta be some place in Stellar Bay that can bake a casserole. We can't get there. There's a Rizzo's town near there called Cascadia, what specializes in sweets. We can't get there, I'm sorry. Is this really necessary? Absolutely, surely, Captain. When I got everything all planned out, all I gotta do is follow the steps. Then I don't got time to be nervous. <laughs> You're lucky I don't cut you, bitch. <laughs> Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? How do we get to Monarch? I murdered everybody. So Gladys is kind of dead. Activating contingency plan DM17. Captain is a psychopath. Please use the <laughs> terminal and venture to Monarch via the Cascadia landing pad. I should warn you, Captain. Cascadia is an incredibly hazardous location, ripe with deadly fauna and flora. You will most likely die within three steps of the landing pad. That's Have fun. Kind of what I deserve, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Talk to you later, bitch. All right, so we can just travel there if we want to. I better go in that sublight quest too before we head out. You know what that means? Bring in Sam. And we might have to do some killing. Of some innocence.
of these fucking sublight savages. I'm not working for them. We've had a change of heart since the last time we've played. Those sublight savages are over here, if I remember correctly. Sublight savages and shipping. Yeah, you want to mess with me? Get out of the way. Some nice music before we're going to go murder everybody. Alright. Sam, you got this guy. Vicar, you got the other guy. And I'll get the bitch. Oh, wow. Oh, no, he's all over me. <laughs> the board's reputation increases when you kill Subway. That's hilarious. The board are now agreeable. Yeah, I figured. I won't be getting, uh... Good reputation with Sublight for that. Yeah, now they hate us. Fair enough, fair enough. I've always wanted in that room. God, I need to level up my lockpicking. Good job, Sam. Oh, we got more sublight up here, guys. I'll shrink them. You guys get them. That's all there is, eh? Fair enough. Fair enough. Anybody else want a piece? <laughs> I guess we gotta go to Monarch now. It's the only thing we can do, unless we want to just go play the Puppet Masters before we head to Monarch. Eh, Monarch sounds fine to me. First time going to Monarch, might as well, right? And the big biggest planet in the game. Here we go. I'm glad we dealt with sublight. I think that was a compliment. 
Warning dangerous Cascadia landing. Message from Dr. Wells. He'd like to congratulate you on finding a route to Monarch. Put him on screen. Cascadia? I don't know if you're extraordinarily brave or slightly suicidal, but Cascadia is one of the most dangerous places in Monarch. Please be careful out there. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Can't you just send him a message? Oh, I've tried. I haven't been able to get through to him at all. Silence from the system's own information broker? Not a good sign. I'm guessing you want me to deal with him. Hiram's peculiar silence leaves us with no other options. You'll have to meet him in person. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. <laughs> Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Alright, I'm off. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Captain, an unusual wavelength is coming through Monarch's Aetherwave frequencies. The Eternal is in us all. The OSI would have you believe that your place in society, indeed in the universe, is preordained. A man who works in the mines of Hephaestus, coating his lungs in mercury dust for naught but a few bits a night, this fate is set in stone? When he dies young, coughing up black blood, his part in the grand plan? No, I say. Greatness is in everyone. Not just those so fortunate as to have been born into prosperity. That was unexpected and odd. It seemed interesting. I'd like to hear more. Considering the origins of the transmission, I imagine you may have such an opportunity when we visit Monarch, Captain. Sweet. I'll be back. So there's Monarch. Here we go. And visit the workbench first. Warning, dangerous. Better take my equipped squad then Welcome to the piece of shit planet Monarch. Here we go. My goodness. It's a dump. There's bad boys everywhere. We're in some serious shit.
Hopefully you can get the jump on him from over here. This is gonna be a fight. Wow. Manta Queen. Oh no. It's one of those things from the loading screens. We're in serious trouble. Let's get out of here. This bunch of sprats in here. Oh, sorry. Here they come. Sorry, Sprat. Oh no, we've alerted the big boys. We're in some serious trouble now. Oh no. Nice try, Vicar, but that thing's strong. That's the last of them. Gotta fight our way out of this. Look at all the loot. All the loot. That might be better, Vicar, than your gun. It is. Way better. Yo! <laughs> it's always yo it's not just yo it's always the extended yo ooh vortex mace I'm just finding upgrades just from getting here <laughs> Yo ho. Do we go in this building? I don't even know. Probably. Uh oh. We might want to get out of this area. This is danger. Okay, I'm exploring though. Uh-oh. Close the door. How come the door is not closed? I swear I closed it. Okay. Now it's closing. 
There's a workbench in here, which is nice. I mean, if this is our landing area for this planet, we gotta clear it out. We gotta make it so it's safe every time we come back. Ooh. Don't want to get rid of that. That thing has mad damage. 506? 960? Hmm. I wonder what one's better. Saving and knows I'm about to enter the biggest fight yet to get out of this place. Fucking Manti Queen. Don't run in there like fools. Come on. You can't take on thing like that by running at it. Well, maybe we can. Fuck yeah. That thing dropped. It was a weak one, that's for sure. Some swarms. I hate swarms. The vermin. A bunch of nonsense that doesn't update my codex or anything like that. All right. There's another building near this landing pot pad, I guess. That's cleared out. That's done. This town must have looked mighty grand when it was built. I would have liked to see this place before it was all ported up. And lit up the night. We got a long way to go. Oh man, is that two of them? So we we could either went this way. Look how slow the cursor moves. Straight is the fastest way. Storm. Well done. God, her gun is wrecking. It's about time. Oh, there's so many. Shines on us today. A fine hit, Captain. Sometimes violence is the only way. <laughs> we gotta just fucking glitch out. Mm, 
Nice. Level 15. What did I say I needed? Oh, yeah, I need more lock picking really badly. And, uh, tech for like hacking science. Uh, hacks right there as well. They finally got a new perk. Nice. She is ranged damage, so like. Maybe I should be using that too. For her. This guy's using melee and being our tank. So we don't need to worry about that shit. Chance to reset ability cool. Eh, that's alright. It's just like a giant hive. I hate this planet. What's on her? Oh no! Oh man! That thing wrecked her! It's so tanky! It's a mega! Grenade launcher. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Wow, that's some good armor. Don't mind if I do. All right, before we continue on, I'm gonna take a quick break real quick, Kai. And whoever else is here, it'll be like five minutes, five minute break.
All right, I'm back. Those chocolate cherry things are so good. So we want Stellar Bay. Playing dumb and evil just makes life rougher. Gotta walk all the way to Stellar Bay. They were destined to die. Get out of this fucking poison goo. What the fuck's hurting me? So many. Shrank Ray. <laughs> Oh yeah, just fuck it, Vicar. Miss McDevitt used to say that plants need sulfur to grow, and here there's just shrubs of it lying about. If I fall in, you'll pull me out, right? Um, maybe. Yeah, I'll pull you out. There's shit in there. Can we jump over this? Sweet. Great. Oh, that, great. That's where we're going to. Yep. Unless I can sneak up this path. My god, that thing's massive. I'm gonna make a save before I try fighting it or I'm gonna get fucking wrecked. Get in there with the stun. Oh, just blast it while it's down, Max. Yes, we almost have it, actually. Well, this isn't good. Now we got two more on us. No, Vicar. Oh, no. Why is it always up to me? God, that gun messes it up.
No. God, why won't my team get up? They're not that hurt. All this thing does is shoot range. Finally. Herpetophobia? After too many encounters with <laughs> mana pillars and manasaurs? You're not quite yourself when any of the Manta family or creatures are attacking your party. Oh, man. <laughs> sure, why not? <clears throat> it's all for the love of perks. What else can I even take that will help me? Companion crit chance is good. 5% armory. Yeah, let's go companion crit chance. Let's see what this thing had on it. Wow. As a mega, it's supposed to have good gear. Oh no, is this one? There it is. There's the gun. Where's my guns? There it is. You're gonna replace the shrink ray. Shrink ray's good, just. That's all it is, right? Doesn't do damage. We're gonna have to get to a workbench sooner or later. Alright, holy, that was. It's fucking tough. Let's make sure there's nothing over here. Like, they, they were over here guarding something, right? <clears throat> over here for a reason. A mega one. Gotta be something good. Oh, wow. 90 lock picking. That's crazy. A revolver MK2. I don't know how that good that armor is. Pro toss ball blocker. Sure, why not? Sell it. Sell this too. That yeah, was worth it. Quite a bit of ammo. Let me check out that, uh, Weapon real quick. 337. You know what? That's... Might be better than my scythe. It is. We're gonna use it. That armor is not very good. Need some new mods. Alright, 600 meters left. What a journey. Fuck this planet, and still getting harder. Oh my god, Vicar! Oh my goodness! Well done. We're still alive. You destroyed that thing, bro. Blew that thing to pieces. Literally.
some dead bods. Free loot. More Manti Queens? Holy shit. This is a rough journey. I smite you in the name of the law. <laughs> oh my goodness, Max, that's a beast. <laughs> Joke for the swarms, guys. They're more annoying than the queen itself. We made it. Just nuts. Terra one publication. Sorry, well, we don't need to go in there. I think that's for a quest later on. We can clear the area though. Here's my confession, bitch. <laughs> nice job, team. This is way easier than my first playthrough. Team's actually doing work this time. Sell that plasma launcher. They make good money. It's better than dismantling it for like fucking six weapon parts, that's for sure. Lots of ammo. Almost too much ammo to be honest. You never have enough though. Things withstood it for quite well. What do you have to say about that, Mac? That's the last of them. <laughs> That's the last of them. <clears throat> We're almost there. Oh no. We got trouble though. Perfect timing. There you go, buddy. I know we're not supposed to go this way, but let's clear it out. Ah! 
Chase him down, Max. He's supposed to be taking all the threat, so I like how he runs in there. God, that spitter poison lasts a long time. There wasn't anywhere to go in, was there? Oh. I did need to use that workbench. I'm glad I went in here. Repair all that shit. And... Oh, I was gonna sell that. I fucked up. Wanted to tinker my new weapon a little bit. Weapon durability or critical chance? Crit chance. Can't put anything on the attack. Alright. Actually, my new assault rifle needs tinkering too. Noise reduction. Range weapon spread and range weapon sway. Crit damage. I like crit. Make it shock damage if we wanted. Damage type N ray. That actually sounds like a smart play because I have plasma damage already. And a regular assault rifle. Let's try that. I know it decreases the damage, but N-Ray is... I think that's stuff that spreads. I can't remember. Reload speed. Or reload... Or s weapon spread. Hmm. Yeah, I think it is. Cool. I'm liking it. I wonder what This gun is really good too. I think I'm gonna keep it a long range plain sniper rifle though. Not give it any mods unless it's like damage or something. I like it. I like it the way it is. Just crush those guys. Everyone all right? I think so. Kind of you to ask, Max. We made it to Stellar Bay. <laughs> Before we could land in Stellar Bay, but now since we're dumb and evil, since we're dumb and evil, we had to walk all the way. Are you t trying to tell me it smells like shit in here? I imagine the entire planet smells like shit. It's covered in sulfuric acid and fucking bug hives and fucking rat shit. <clears throat> Question is, are we going to let people live in this place or are we just going to kill them all? Haven't decided yet. I think I gotta let some of them live. Just cause there's a trophy to like go to war. And I didn't get that one. So I gotta f 
do one of the quest lines all the way through. Better not kill anybody yet. Yeah, you're lucky. Someone's been killed. Yeah, you. You want me to talk to you? Pull yourself together, man. I clean the apartments while everyone's at work. I've seen all sorts of messes, but this. If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shot. That does sound nice. After that long journey, he said the bottom right. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Just spooked me. Was all. What a gruesome way to die. You better not take anything. Toss ball betting slip. Oh, he was getting into some bedding. Not a good sign. Hastily packed suitcase. That's everything? Alright. Oh, that wasn't very hard. So what are we doing in here? Let me just recap. Recap. Phineas contact. Oh yeah, we're looking for a girl at the bar. She's hard to miss. Wrap mask and canid eyes right here. No thanks. It's slippery, right? On account of its blood. So it's, it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the, tell the blood from the mud. <laughs> but I gotta get in there. Get right in that baby wrap stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I'd... Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might, Might be, be I'd hunt every, every damn wrapped out, out there. there. Right. right. What, what are, are you staring? staring? Wait. Wait. You went from, from around, around here. here. Who are you? <laughs> Gizmo, are you always this drunk? You think you this, this is drunk? drunk? I gotta... Uh, uh, you need to get, get out, out more. more. Sit. Partake. Buy me a drink, drink and let's chat. chat. Uh, 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 sure. Another round, bartender. Outstanding. What are you doing, doing Stella Bay, stranger? stranger? Just seeing what it's like for myself. People talk it up like it's a shithole. Shit it's a free, free shithole, though. Plenty, Plenty of ways to blaze your own trail. trail. Folks, Folks seem to like that. that. It is an admirable endeavor, if misguided, and nearly impossible to achieve. I ain't saying it's easy, but look around you. If it's impossible, it seems nobody's gone and told the people living here. Besides, the booze is good. Something about that fish oil. Cheers! Fish oil? Listen, I'm told you can help me find an information broker. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass. Wait, that ain't it. Brass, brass. Let's, let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You have to get me something to clear my head. Like what, aspirin? You got a hangover? Hmm. Sure, what do you need? Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, 
I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine something? Pill. They're very good. I'm cut off for the money. On account of me. But I'm sure you've got your wiry ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. Uh, let's go with the top one. And if I can't get a steroid or caffeine, something or other. That's quit or talk. You want me shooting straight? Give me my meds. All right, then. All right, I'll be back. We're going to be nice to our companions. Well, future companions. We're not going to be dicks and try and kill them. All right, what do we got here? I wanted to get leadership up a bit just so my squad was better. <clears throat> Another perk, eh? This one is heaven. Companions can actually revive when I use my inhaler. Some perks are so useless, and then some are like that, which are like game changers. Now I can actually revive my fucking companions. Alrighty, what do we got here? Passion pills? I guess we can continue getting her fucking pills. Nothing else is of importance. Well, Hello, dearie. Why, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. All right. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? Why is everyone so creepy? I've been asked to pick up medicine. Bless your little heart. You must mean caffeinoid. If it's pep you need, one pill does the deed. Now, dearie, who's this pickup for? <laughs> Actually, the pills are for me. I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth, you fucking bitch. What little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stellar Bay residents. Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little extra? You don't give five finger discounts? Aren't you a noble boy? There are no discounts here, but uh, Auntie knows what to do with mischievous men like you. <laughs> what? What? <gasps> oh, I'd have to talk to Mr. Nandi about you, of course. Anyway, is there anyone else needing a pickup from Auntie Abigail? <laughs> Aren't you a saucy thing? Now, I may not be a fresh young thing anymore, but with age comes experience, dearie. <laughs> Got a dumb option experience. I guess you've worked here a long time. You are too precious. How about you just tell me who that Catherine Woods for, dearie? Fine. Oh, her. It's none of my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. Now I've gone and said too much. And you know me, dearie. I don't like to cry. I'm afraid not. 
Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. Why the fuck not? Oh yeah, intimidate. Enough sweet talk. Get me caffeinoid or you're gonna need a taste of your own medicine. Well, this certainly isn't worth my good health. About fucking time. I'll you a dose, but I'll have you know. I'm very disappointed in you. Oh, cry me a river. And good riddance. That's the last help you're getting from Abigail Edwards. Cry me a river. Lucky I didn't blow your head off. What are the chances? You're back. Good news? Bad news? All of the above? <laughs> I've got your magic pills. These things are dangerous, you know. More or less dangerous than a steady supply of alcohol. Give it in. Ooh, that hits the spot. Right in the, uh... Oh, there it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. <laughs> Let's go. <gasps> oh. Glad to have you. Where to? To find the information broker, obviously. Oh, I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. If you're more of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind uh -oh. going somewhere until you got a spot open. Oh no. Well, we obviously can't get rid of Max. He's a fucking beast. You gotta wait on the ship, bitch. I hope you like being part of our crew, Nyoka. We're real excited to have you. No, yeah, she took that well. You a traveling vicar? In a manner of speaking. Stella Bay had a vicar once. He took it upon himself to convince Grand's folk to come back to the corporate fold. Kept making the trip between the city and Amber Heights by foot. Kept getting himself into all sorts of scrapes. Day came when I found a book of his in the middle of a rap encampment. And still gripping the tip. What's in here? The plan unfolds as the plan unfolds. To vicar and layman alike. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Should we talk to this guy? New business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not poison the loins? <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with this guy? These very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. I guess I'll wait till you're done with your meeting then. <laughs> and a sense of humor too. Did you hear that, Celia? I heard it, sir. But I'm sure you didn't come here to trade witticisms. Hmm? No, you're here for business. Me, I'm charting my own path, going where the wind takes me. What a charming notion. One doesn't meet many free spirits in Alcyon. Not outside Tartarus prison, anyway. Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for Saltoon. If I have to eat one more Weird Science Project passed off as food in this brat-fucked colony, I'm going to stab someone. Yes, that's it. Channel your anger. I only wish I could do the same. <laughs> now, I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. <laughs> Sounds like a personal problem. I've got other concerns. Oh, well. I need his quest if we're gonna want to start the war. 
with the whole board, as a matter of fact. Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. So-called is right. We've got our hazards, but we're still here, Damon. The board took off without so much as a thought for the folks left behind. Something to be said for perseverance. I endeavor to persevere myself. Now, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Sounds like you're freer than anyone else in Halcyon. Why not embrace it? You talk like Graham. Freedom always sounds nice, doesn't it? It makes a rather pretty slope. But if you sit down and tally up the costs, how you provide for yourself in the absence of aid, how you protect yourself from a hostile galaxy, it starts to lose its shine. Exactly. Intellectualism fuels the train to mankind's future, but the tracks the train runs on are forged from practicality. I don't know what intellectualism means, but if someone's willing to build us a few practical things around here, I ain't gonna judge them on account of their beliefs. Yes, it's as though the good vicar has plucked the very words from my brain. <laughs> You make a good point. Indeed. Get Mr. to the Donnie point so I can get your quest. Genius plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, my dear. A lot of good that'll do. I'll just find another reason to turn tail and abandon you. Not if we secure the proper safeguards first. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. What's the plan? It's a two-pronged approach. The first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Fine, how do you mean to do that? With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. This... Bolt 52 sounds useful. What is it? Quite one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. Where do I find one? In the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. These days it's overrun with marauders and raptor dogs. The whole friggin' plan it is. Then I guess I'll go get your Bolt 52. Do be careful. I've lost more than a few people to Marauders and Raptodons out there. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Sure, man, sure. So we got that one. See, it ends up being we can either help these people or somebody else on this planet, and then whoever you help, you end up going to war. And in the first playthrough, I made them come to an agreement. So this time we gotta go with one side. We gotta finish investigating that, too. And I'm gonna save that for next time, though. I'm gonna call it. I gotta get off in like five or ten minutes anyway. Make a save. It it's worth it if it's on sale. It's too short to be like a full fully priced game, right? You only get to really experience two planets. Oh, well, it's just my opinion too. But, like, it's it's really polished, it's well made, right? It's just, I don't think it's worth the full price tag because of how short it is. But anyway, I'm going to quit to the menu before I do something stupid, like kill people. <laughs> And I will continue this game probably tomorrow night. I don't know. It's going to be at night some point. But anyway, thanks for uh, 
hanging out, Kai. It was fun. And click clack, you gotta make your own opinion, man. That's all I can really say. I don't think it's worth $80. Wait for a sale. It's, that's my take. Anyway, guys, take care.